one terrifying signal after another, here are the 10 scariest signals ever received from space. Number 10, distant galaxy signals. Here is an extremely new signal reported by the BBC in January of 2019. According to their news report, astronomers detected mysterious signals from a distant galaxy. These mysterious signals were picked up in Canada by a super strong telescope. But the problem is, nobody knows the origin or the nature of these mysterious radio wave blasts. There were exactly 13 quick radial bursts, known in the industry as FRBs, or fast radio bursts, and each burst was coming from the exact same source. How far away was this source? It was roughly one and a half billion light years away from Earth. This is one of those events that only happens once in a blue moon. In fact, this exact type of incident has only happened one previous time, captured by another telescope. This group of bursts was captured at the Chime Observatory in British Columbia. The observatory consists of four enormous semi-cylindrical antennas that constantly scan the northern sky in an endless effort to detect alien signals. Interestingly enough, the telescope only began running in 2018. Almost immediately upon the system being activated, they detected the 13 FRBs. Since then, the interesting and incredibly mysterious radio waves have been published in the journal Nature. Nobody knows who, what, or where they came from, and we may never know. Number nine, the strong signal. Here's a signal from May of 2015. And unlike many signals that come from deep space millions of light years away, this signal actually comes from a relatively close cluster of stars. Supposedly, the signal was described by astronomers and scientists as being a very strong signal, quote unquote. And it appears to have been sent from a star inside a nearby constellation. The constellation is known as Hercules, and the star is known as HD 164595. The most interesting aspect of the star is that it only sits about 95 light years away. In theory, a human could travel that far in their lifetime if they were sent into space as a baby. Even more interesting is that according to the article posted by The Independent, the star is almost the exact size as our planet. There's also a small planet within close proximity of the star, roughly the same size as Neptune, which has a 40-day year and may hold the potential for growing life. While not provable, there is a theory that says this signal could have come from a sudden burst of technology on the planet, such as a powerful harnessing of energy from the star. It would place this civilization as type two, meaning they are more advanced than the human race. Number eight, gamma ray burst. You may be familiar with gamma rays as the source of the Incredible Hulk's green strength, but gamma ray radiation is actually very real and there's a lot of it swirling around in space. According to the BBC, researchers in 2012 discovered evidence that Earth had been struck by a mega blast of gamma radiation sometime in the Middle Ages. Nobody can quite figure out for sure what would have caused such a burst of radiation to be hurled through space, but a new study is saying that it could have been the result of two black holes merging together somewhere in our galaxy. Such a devastating force would have hurled huge amounts of energy at our planet. A burst of gamma radiation hitting the planet may sound pretty scary, and that's because it is. While scientists believe this particular burst occurred roughly 12,000 light years away, if one had happened closer, it could have destroyed the entire ozone layer and devastated life on Earth as we know it. Even more disturbing is that if it had happened in modern times and not medieval times, it very likely would have taken down every single satellite. That means no more internet and no more of these great videos. A very scary thought indeed. Number seven, superluminous supernova. Supernovas are relatively common. A supernova is what happens when a star collapses and the energy from the implosion can be seen even from Earth with the light reaching us just like a blaring radio signal. These events have already taken place billions of years ago as most supernovas travel to us at a distance of several billion light years away. Scientists have documented many supernovas. Recently, the biggest superluminous supernova ever was discovered. This intense burst of light was named ASA SSN 15LH, and it happened roughly 3.8 billion light years away from us. That means it happened almost 4 billion years ago, and the light's only reaching us just now. To give you an idea of how bright this event was, it was roughly 570 billion times brighter than the sun. 
I don't think there are any sunglasses on Earth that could withstand that kind of brightness. That is one scary transmission. Number six, the wow signal. The wow signal is undoubtedly the most famous transmission ever received on our planet. It happened on August 15, 1977. It was at THE Ohio State University, and the signal was captured on their Big Ear radio telescope. The telescope at the time was being used to search for any possible evidence of extraterrestrial life. Ordinarily, those researching the printout of extraterrestrial signals saw nothing but random ones and twos, with a few fours and threes mixed in, all mostly from random space activity. But the WOW signal consisted of 6EQUJ5. What the signal means is anyone's guess. It happened only once, and it went on for an entire 72 seconds. The researcher was so impressed by the signal and so shocked when he discovered it that he circled it and wrote WOW! exclamation point next to it, hence the name. There are a lot of theories as to where the signal could have possibly come from, but there's nothing conclusive. The only thing researchers know is that the signal seems to have come from the constellation Sagittarius, and that it looks exactly like what an extraterrestrial signal would look like. Could it have been a passing craft? Could it have been a sudden burst of information from a distant civilization? Well, we will probably never know. Number five. Jupiter's Bow Shock In 2016, the Juno spacecraft entered Jupiter's magnetosphere, and what they captured on audio was incredible. They picked up outstanding audio signals as they crossed the planet's bow shock. The bow shock is the point in which the solar wind meets Jupiter's magnetosphere. The solar wind is an emission from the sun, essentially supersonic solar wind that blows past planets at roughly one million miles an hour. The magnetosphere is the protective field around Jupiter, and it acts like a barrier, just like how our own magnetosphere pushes back the intense radiation of the sun. So, as the Juno spacecraft crossed this breach, a sound like a sonic boom was emitted into the spacecraft and picked up on audio. This was an invisible signal about two hours long, but NASA released a compressed clip only a few seconds in length, and it is incredibly creepy. It's the sound of space, and it will give you some freaky chills. Number four, screams from Ganymede. All right, there's a lot of science to unpack in this one. The short version is that chorus waves are electromagnetic waves around planets and moons that can be easily converted into sound. They're a type of plasma wave occurring at super low frequencies that can not only be captured on audio, but also seen visibly by the naked eye. The northern lights on Earth are a direct result from our chorus waves, and when chorus waves on Earth are converted into sound, they sound quiet and peaceful and something like a choir of singing angels or chirping birds. However, a report in Nature Communications in 2018 claims that astronomers were extremely surprised to be listening to the audio recording from Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede, as the sound was absolutely horrifying. The chorus waves were converted into sound, and the sound clip is not pleasant at all. Rather than the sound of chirping birds or pretty singing, the chorus waves around Jupiter's huge moon sound like people screaming in horrible agony or one of those death whistles. It is a rough thing to listen to and sounds like something straight out of your nightmares. Number three, FRB 121102. Fast radio bursts have been getting more and more popular lately from the wow signal to the mysterious repeating signal that was sent every 16 days from somewhere deep in space. But there are other creepy signals being sent from outer space that scientists simply can't explain right now. One of them is FRB 121102. This is the only FRB that has repeated itself more than once. It's like a hiccup that has flashed over 150 times from the exact same source. According to SETI, which is the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, the source is exactly three billion light years away, resting at the edge of a small galaxy. Keep in mind that whatever caused the radio burst happened three billion years ago, but it's only now reaching the Earth in the form of radio signals. The big question is, what caused the burst in the first place? And why is it repeating so persistently? At the time of the first transmission, life on Earth would have still been in the ocean and not even close to having evolved yet. 
And yet, three billion years ago, something sent a signal more powerful than all the energy discharged by the sun in a full year and let it all out in a blink of an eye. Even more interesting is that the galaxy from which the signal originated is dozens of times smaller than our own. Galactic war or an expanding black hole exploding? We'll probably never know. Number two, 157 day signal. This is by far the most remote signal being sent to Earth on a regular basis. There have been bursts from galaxies one and a half billion light years away and even as close as 500 million light years away. But this weird repeating signal is being sent from a dwarf galaxy roughly 3 billion light years away from us. According to a report by CBS News, astronomers announced in 2019 that they had detected a mysterious FRB repeating every 157 days. This is only the second time in history that an FRB has repeated such a pattern. Apparently, there is a 90-day window in which FRBs are received by Earth, then 67 days of total silence. The loop repeats every 157 days without fail. While first discovered in 2012, the whole pattern was not identified until just recently. But what could it possibly mean? As a general rule, space is not concise, nor does it repeat. Could it be an SOS signal repeating from somewhere deep in space? Or is it just a freak radio signal from a dying star? Number one, the 16 day signal. 2020 was an incredible year for the human race. The first modern pandemic crippled the world, and in February of 2020, something scientists are referring to as the first reliable pattern of any transmitted signal from deep space was discovered. In an early report by The Sun, the newspaper, it appears that a mysterious and unidentified object roughly 500 million light years away is baffling scientists. This unnamed object appears to have been transmitting the same signal every 16 days. Because of their consistency, many scientists believe there is something intelligent controlling the signals. To put this intense new discovery into perspective, there have only been about 100 types of fast radio bursts ever found. Out of those 100, only 10 were repeats, meaning that they happened more than once. However, this marks the very first consistent signal that appears to have a rhythm and a purpose. The signal was discovered by the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment in British Columbia. This is the second major signal discovered by the Canadians. But here's where it gets crazy. The first signal they detected that appeared to have possible sentient connection was one and a half billion light years away. But this newest signal is only 500 million light years away. Could this mean whatever is transmitting the signal is getting closer to Earth? At a rate of 500 million light years per year, that would place them on our doorstep in late winter of 2021. Which of these remarkable signals frightens you the most? Tell us in the comments below and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and come back for another amazing video. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.